Hello Grade 7s. We're continuing with accounting concepts today and we're looking at Unit 2, Income and Expenses. Now before we start talking about income and expenses in a business, what would your personal income and expenses be? Well your income would be your pocket money every month and your birthday and Christmas money and your expenses would be what you need to spend that money on. So let's look at it in a business context now. Remember that income is money that is earned by the business. And this money is earned from the sale of goods and services. Now let's remind ourselves what goods and services are. Goods are products that a business sells and services are, t are people's time that they are selling. For example, a doctor or a lawyer. Examples of how income can be earned in a business are from sales, selling goods, Income from providing services. Rent income. And interest income. Now interest would be uh, from the money that is in the business's bank accounts. While it's sitting in the bank account, it is earning interest now let's look at expenses. Expenses are costs of running a business. Businesses have different expenses depending on what type of business it is. Um, if it was um, a hairdresser, for example, they would spend money on water and electricity, their products, their advertising, their stationery and salaries or wages. Now, when we look at exercise 5.2, which is what you're going to be doing in your books shortly, they have given you an example of a small business. It's Nick Reed's business, and he coaches cricket, and he sells cricket kit. Um, he also rents out part of his building to a doctor, and he gives you information about his business. Um, he tells you about his costs, and he gives you amounts. Now, what I want you to do is answer the questions in Activity 5.2. They want to know how he earns an income, they want to know his total income for the month, and then they want to know what his expenses are every month, what he, what money goes out of the business every month. Don't worry about question four at all. Once you've finished activity 5.2, we will move on to the next page, unit three, which is about profits and losses. Now, before we begin, what do you think the reason is that any business begins in the first place? It's to make money. And a business wants to make a profit rather than a loss. So a profit is the amount of money that comes into the business and is still there after expenses have been paid. And losses are money that go out of the business. So the profit is the money left over after all the expenses have been paid. So let's give it an equation. 
income, which is the money coming into the business, minus the expenses, which is the money going out of the business, equals the profit. Now let's look at that more closely. If the income is more than the expenses, then there will be a profit. If the income is less than the expenses, in other words, the expenses are more than what the money is coming into the business, then there will be a loss. And obviously that is not what a business wants to do and not what they intend to do when they start. So I want you now to look at the example on page 58. It's about a plumbing business owned by Sam Fecker. And he wants to know whether he's made a profit or a loss for the month of May. Now, he's given a list of all his expenses and it's been put into a table. So it's been split into income and it's been split into expenses. The income is 37000 and the expenses are 19000 So his income is larger than his expenses. So he has made a good profit this month. In activity 5.3, I want you to look at the table given. It's about Blake's Builders and it has the following information. Advertising is what the business spends on advertising. Bank is what is in their account. It is sitting in their account, growing interest. Capital is what they started the business with. It's in the business. Income from building services is um, projects that they do for other people. Water and electricity is what they pay every month. Their equipment is an asset. That is what is in the business. Loan, that is what they borrowed from the bank. Material costs. That is what they pay every month to buy materials in order to do their job. Rent income is money coming in from a rental. Stationery is what they pay on stationery every month. Vehicles, these are the vehicles that are assets. They are in the business, owned by the business. And wages are the monies that they pay out every week. So answer the questions from 1 to 7, according to that table. Please show all your working out and please send me a photo of your work once you've done it.